Winning in Life with Pastor Solomon. This is a new year and a lot of things have already commenced this year. Dreams, expectations, all those goals you've set and all those things that you want to accomplish this year. Some have happened, some have not happened. You had some setbacks and you're wondering what next to do. Whatever you're going through today, I have good news for you. Jesus told us, he said, in this world, you will have tribulation. He said, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world for you. Facing problem in life does not mean something is wrong with you. It doesn't mean you've done something wrong. It just means you are living in a fallen world, a world that is not perfect. Stop beating yourself down that you are facing challenges. No, only the living face challenges. The dead people are free from problems. As long as you're in this world, from time to time, we will face problems. Paul and Silas, in the book of Acts chapter 16, they went to preach. They went to do the work of God. And after they preached, they ran into trouble. Some people stirred up the people in the city and they came after them. To cut the long story short, they were flogged, they were beaten and thrown into prison. Can you imagine preaching the gospel, trying to liberate people, do the work of God? You are beaten, you are flogged, your clothes were torn and you are put in the prison for giving people good news. So it is not only when we do things wrong that things go wrong. Sometimes you are doing everything right. But what did Paul do? Did he complain? Did he give up? Let's learn from Acts chapter 16. After their clothes have been torn, after they have been flogged, after they have been disgraced, after they have been put in jail, and they've been chained down. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas began to pray and sing praises to God. And as they began to sing praises to God, Bible says, and the prisoners were listening to them. They heard them. <laughs> With all they've gone through, they still had the courage to pray. They had the guts to sing so loud that all the other prisoners heard them. Acts 16, 26, they said, suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened. And everyone's chains were loosed. I'm telling you something. Maybe you feel you're in prison right now. You feel every door is shut against you. You don't know what to do. My friend, it's time for you to start singing praises. It's time for you to keep on praying. Pray so loud. Worship God. Never quit on praising Him for who He is. For praying to him because you know he won't fail you. Because the prison doors, they're about to be open. Some writers said that the reason why the prison door was open and there was earthquake was because God inhabits the praises of his people. And God was going into the prison to receive the praises that his children were giving him. Start praising God, even in the darkest hour. It will show up for you. I've experienced that in my life several times. When things were not going my way. When it's as though all hell has broken loose. I just kept my eyes on Jesus. I kept praying. And I kept thanking him because I know he has heard me. And I said, Lord, I thank you because I know you would never leave me nor forsake me. I can't see the way out. But I know you are the way maker. And in a short time, God showed up for me. God turned my story around. The same God that showed up for me, he will show up for you. Don't give up on your prayer. Don't give up on your praise. There's going to be a supernatural suddenly for you. And God will show up for you. God bless you. For more information, visit the website, Arklo Christian Community Church International at arklocccci.org. Or go to Arklo CCCI on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. 
You can follow Pastor Solomon Araboto on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter at Pastor.Tosh. Winning in life on UCB Ireland.